This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it as we enter into worship, the annual memorial service of the Northern California region. Shall we stand together as we enter into our call to worship? For the perishable must clothe itself with the imperishable and the mortal with immortality. If you could repeat together with the perishable has been clothed with the imperishable and the mortal with immortality, then the saying that is written will come true. Death has been swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh, death, is your victory? Where, O oh, grave, is your sting? Respond, the sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. Together, but thanks be to God, he gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Our morning hymn, Blessed Assurance, we're going to ask this songbird of the cathedral to come and lead us in this great hymn of the church. Blessed Assurance, Jesus is mine, oh, with a foretaste of glory divine. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Mm -hmm. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchase of God, born of his spirit washed in his blood. This is, this is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story. This is my song. This is my story. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior. going to ask that uh, Pastor David Manley, I do know that you have uh, some knee issues. I'm actually going to ask Pastor Sheila Crabb to come at this time and offer the prayer for those who have gone on. Pastor Crabb, if you would. Let us all pray as we remember those that served this ninth, served one another in that service. Now they're serving in the heavenly kingdom of God. Father God, we thank you because you rule and you super rule. Father, we magnify your name and we lift you up in this memorial worship service for those, Lord God, that have gone on before us. Because Jesus said, let not your heart be troubled. 
because I have already prepared a place for those that labored in me and that loved me and that loved their neighbor as their self. And so, Lord God, as we humble ourselves right now in your presence, oh, Lord God, as we love on one another, we lift you up because you said that if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men, every man and woman, boy, girl, to thee. So, Lord God, as we remember those, Lord God, that labored tirelessly in this Zion, Father God, we ask you to comfort the hearts of those that we, that are still here. And then, Lord God, remember all the things that, as they labored, the ways that they paid that will stay in that way, worshiping, praising, still laboring in you. We pray it because you said we could. Bless us right now. Bless the one that's coming to break the bread. And then, Lord God, let our hearts be open to receive the word and serve tirelessly in this Zion. It's in your name that we pray. Everybody help me say amen. Amen and amen. Amen. If we could stand for the litany of appreciation. When we come to the response of the people, this is the statement we shall make together. We praise thee, O God and bless thy name. Let's try it. We praise thee, O God, and bless thy name. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, before whom stand the spirits of the living and the dead, light of lights, fountain of wisdom and goodness, who liveth in all pure, humble, and gracious souls. For all who have witnessed a good confession for thy glory and the welfare of the world, patriarchs, prophets, and apostles, the wise of every land and nation, all teachers and preachers of thy truth. For the martyrs of our holy faith, the faithful witness to Christ of whom the world was not worthy, and for all who have resisted falsehood and wrong unto suffering or death. For all who have labored and suffered for freedom, good government, just laws, and the sanctity of the home, and for all who have given their lives for their country. For all who have sought to bless men and women by their service in life and to lighten the dark places of the earth. For those who have been tender, true, and brave in all times and places, for those who have been devoted ministers, laypersons, and missionaries in thy holy church, and for all who have been one with thee in the commission of Christ's spirit and in the strength of his love. We praise thee, O God, and bless thy name. Amen and amen. You may be seated. It's my pleasure to introduce the 66th Bishop of the Christian Methodist Episcopal Church, Bishop Charlie Haynes. Please remain seated. We're grateful and thankful for this day and this hour uh, that we have a preacher in the house and the person of the Reverend Eloise Knox. I can tell you that she is a God-fearing woman, one who has been consistent, persistent, and more importantly, faithful to the gospel. First met her as the assistant associate minister here at the B.B. Memorial Cathedral where she held down at the time the eight o'clock service and those who are part of the sick and shut in list. God ordained and gave her favor and she served in the San Francisco district, in particular St. Peter Church, I believe. And then after that, God blessed her to be the pastor of the Bell Chapel Church. 
Not only that, she became the first woman in our area to serve as presiding elder. I'm grateful for her, uh, her life, her witness, and not only that, uh, for what she means to the Christian Methodist Episcopal Church in the Northern California region. I have a special affection for her because when I first moved, uh, she was my first babysitter. Now let me clarify that. She didn't babysit me, she babysit my kids. Amen. Amen. Just in case y'all got that twisted. Amen. Uh, but we're grateful and thankful for her. So the next preaching voice you will hear will be none other than the Reverend Eloise Knox. Amen. And before she come, let me uh, acknowledge uh, these preachers who just walked in. Amen. Like uh, uh, they were part of the Fast and Furious. Amen. Uh, presiding Elder Travis Morris. Amen. The Reverend uh, Kenneth Miller. Amen. And my young uh, jump board chair, uh, the Reverend Adam Stevenson. Amen. Let's give God praise for them. Amen. What's next? The sermon. Let's receive the preacher as she comes. Praise the Lord, everybody. We want to thank and praise Bishop Hames for this preaching opportunity. I want to thank and acknowledge Bishop Paul A.G. Stewart and my colleague in the Ministry of Presiding Elders, Reverend Dr. Reginald Walton, all of the pastors and ministers and lay people and visiting pastors and ministers. God bless you all. Let us go to the throne of grace. And I would be remiss not to acknowledge First Lady Michelle Gaskill Hames in her absence and First Lady, sis, sis, uh, uh, First Lady Sister Erlene Gardner Stewart. Thank you, God bless you. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, we thank you, we praise you, we give you glory this afternoon. We thank you, Lord God, for another preaching opportunity, and it's preaching time. And I ask that you remove self out of the way, that you rise up in me, Holy Spirit, from the tip of my toes to the crown of my head. Speak, Lord. Speak, Lord, that your servant may hear and I thank you that your word that be that goes forth from your mouth will not return to you void. It will accomplish what you please and prosper into the hearts and souls where you send it and take root and bring forth fruit some 30, 60, and 100 fold. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And praise God. To God be the glory. Amen. Our text for this afternoon it's Matthew chapter 11, verses 25 through 30. You go with me in your Bibles there. Amen. Matthew, familiar, a familiar verse of Scripture. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Amen. We've chose to speak from the theme this afternoon, come to me. Come to me. Memorial services are held in the annual conferences throughout the CME Connection to worship and thank God for those church family members who have made their transitions from earth to heaven, absent from the body, present with the Lord. Precious 
is in the sight of the Lord. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. We remember those saints for their contributions in the building up of God's kingdom through giving of their time, talents, treasures, serving faithfully in various ministries of the church as pastors, ministers, Sunday school superintendents, Sunday school teachers, children and youth ministry teachers, evangelism ministry, teaching and training for the purpose of witnessing the gospel to reach lost souls, missionaries, intercessory prayer warriors. The church can't survive without them. Amen. Choir members, ushers, ministry to men, lay ministries, church administration, stewards, stewardess, treasurers, trustees, culinary arts ministries. To God be the glory as we honor and pay tribute by remembering their works of labor that is not in vain in the Lord. Everything they did, they did it out of love and generosity acts as an act of worship unto the Lord. In our text, Jesus said, come to me, hallelujah, come to me all you who are weary and burdened and I will give you rest. When Jesus gave this invitation to come to him, it means to trust in him. Trust in him to see you through every second, every minute, every hour as you attempt to comprehend and process the pain and agony of losing a dear loved one. When trying to bear the, this burden alone, you will become weary and frustrated. This is a time you need to surround yourself with loving, caring family and friends to help strengthen and pray you through. God loves us so much. He made provisions in the word, hallelujah, for every situation we will face in life. Come to me, trust in me, I will comfort you. 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 3 through 5. Praise be to God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion, the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all of our troubles. Amen. So that when we, I mean, hallelujah, so that we can comfort others with the same comfort we ourselves receive from God. Amen. John 14, 6, Jesus said, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Also believe in me. I will make everything all right. Come to me. Trust in me. And I will give you rest. Yeah. Only Christ can provide that inner rest. Deep rest is when we completely trust the sovereignty of God and lean into his Holy Spirit even in the midst of our most trying situations. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. Wearsby states, take is a deeper experience. When we come to Christ by faith, he gives us rest. Rest from the burden of sin. Hear me now. When we take his yoke and learn, we find rest that deeper rest of surrender and obedience. And that first peace is the peace with God. Amen. Romans 5, 1 says, Therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God. The second is the peace of God. Amen. Philippians, after you, hallelujah, have been, been released from the burden of sins and go on to grow and mature in the Lord, then we will begin to experience the peace of God. Philippians 4, 6, 8, 4, 6 through 8. Do not be anxious about anything. Don't worry about anything. But everything, hallelujah, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, Present your request to God, 
and the peace of God, which passes all human understanding, I had to add that in there, amen, will keep your hearts and minds in Jesus Christ. Amen. <clears throat> Take my yoke upon you. What a blessing we have. Hallelujah. What a blessing to have Jesus by our side, pulling our load with us. By yoking or joining up with Jesus, you will become one of his disciples and share with others in his greatness and goodness. Jesus said, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light, meaning he is gentle and humble. Learn, as we learn more about him, we find a deeper rest. Amen. No matter how harsh the pains and struggles of life are, God can turn your scars into stars. As you go through life's ups and downs, he's always there, Sh Jehovah Shammah. Right. Jesus said, come to me, and I will, hallelujah. And, and these are my three points. Jesus said, come to me, and I will give you rest. Come rest in me. Amen. Number two, yoke up with me. Join my team. Learn from me, and you will find rest for your souls. Number three, for my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. What's hard and difficult for you becomes easy when you give it over to me. I want to leave you with these words of hope and encouragement. There are Christians from a certain African tribe who never say of their dead, who die in the Lord, that they have departed. Instead, they speak as if they received a confirmation from the glory world. They triumphantly and joyously say they have arrived. Glory to God. Therefore, 1 Thessalonians 4, Verses 13 through 18. But we do not want you to be uninformed, brothers and sisters, about those who are asleep, not those who are dead, but those who are asleep, sleep, that you may, not, you may not grieve as others who have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep. For this we declare to you by a word from the Lord, that we who are alive, we who are left until the coming of the Lord, will not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself, will descend from, descend from heaven with a cry, hallelujah, of command, with a shout, amen, with the voice of an archangel and with the sound of the trumpet of God and the dead in Christ or the sleep in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, those of us who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will always be with the Lord. Hallelujah. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. Cast all of your cares upon me because I care for you and I will sustain you. Jesus knows all about your troubles. He knows about, hallelujah, your broken heart. Surrender your heavy loads. Give them to him. When you need someone to lean on, as Bishop Stewart always say, just call on the name. Call on the name. Hallelujah, the name which is above all names. The name of Jesus, all you have to do when you're going through, say, Lord Jesus. And I guarantee you, you will get instant comfort. You will get instantaneous peace. Yeah. Hallelujah. He will comfort you. He will give you rest. For God is faithful. 
He loves us all. Those who had loved ones to depart, hallelujah, from us this year. Praise God. I had a couple of broken, hallelujah. I remember Mother Mary Elijah Smith, my prayer partner, my adopted mother in the Lord. Her family is here this morning, this afternoon. Yeah, we loved her. Yes, she was in her 90s, but she was just a, a hallelujah, a glorious woman of God to know. We grew up and kind of learned together in the church. She was my Sunday school superintendent. Amen. And one time she said, I wish I could clone you. Amen. But I loved her, and that was a hard time, but we made it through it. We are making it through it. And then there was Brother Glenn Thorpe. And you don't see him out on the parking lot as a trustee today. But he's still here in our hearts. Amen. And his family is here also today. We thank God for them. And I just wanted to name that. Amen. And then I had a young nephew to pass on. And it was a difficult situation. But God is seeing the family through. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. So I join in all of you in your grief. I understand. I know what grief is. I know what it means to have a broken heart. But I tell you one thing. I, we serve a God. And I tell you again, all you have to do is just call on the name of Jesus. And I'm not talking about I heard what I heard. I'm talking about what I know. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. And I thank God that I knew him when both of my parents passed away. And he gave me a peace which passed it all understanding. People thought I was crazy. I was so calm. Amen. So I close saying, I pray God grant you renewed strength, joy, peace for your souls, and allow his love to overflow within you, healing your wounded, broken hearts, and hear his voice saying, come to me, trust me, I will make it all right. God bless you. Come on, let's give God another hand of praise for that word. Amen. What a great word. Amen. And she didn't take long. Amen. Praise the Lord. At this time, we ask that those individuals who represent the various departments of our church laity, missionaries, minister spouses, widows and widowers, and ministry to men and ministers to please come in that order to read those names that have lived among us but now are living with God. Thank you, Brother Bob, if you can receive that mic. Uh, please read the names first and then light the candle. Please read the names first and then light the candle. Everybody's names. Please read the names first and light the candle. From the Missionary Society, we have from Missionary Temple, Maddie Clara Metz, Sister Helen Clara Powell, Brother Howard Earl Oliver Sr. From St. James, we have Sister Idella Bass. From BB Memorial, we have Sister Vera Jeffries. 
and Mary, Sister Mary E. Smith. And from and Bell Chapel, we have- Before you move forward, uh, also the Sister. Name, but before you move forward, also the name of Brother Glenn Owen Thorpe. Amen. And Cecile Carraway. Please proceed. Okay, and from Bell Chapel, we have Sister Hazel Davis. Let us sing it together. I shall, I shall wear a crown. When it's all over. When it's all over. When it's all over. When it's all over. Can y'all help him? I shall see his face. His face. I shall see his face. Just one candle, please. Thank you. Amen. Minister spouses, please come now and read the names. Bishop, the spouses doesn't have any loss this year. Let us say praise the Lord. But let us light the eternal flame for those who have already gone on before us. I shall see his face oh, 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 mm, oh, when it's all when it's all over yes I will lay persons please now read when it's all over the names and then light the memorial candle Stewart Memorial, Sister Paris Hart, Mother Vera May Stewart, Sister Janair Stovall Cooksey, Taylor Chapel, Sister Juanita Swanee, Riley Chapel, Miss. Triisha Johnson, First CME, Brother Tommy Ramsey, St. James, Pastor Corbett, Brother McCurin, and Brother Bradford, Missionary Temple, Richard Oliver, Maddie Clara Mitz, Worthy Schenkel, Helen Clara Powell, Howard Earl Oliver Sr., Phillips Temple, Sister Willie Christ, Sister Juanita Evans, Bell Chapel, Deloren Angel, St. Stephen, Brother Jim Grandison, Brother Louis McCraven, Sister Ida Singletary, and Sister Daisy Young. B.B. Memorial, Cecile Carraway, and Candace Hill Lewis. Thank you. If there's another name, please lift it at this time. Lift the name. Bring it down just a little bit.
Thank you. What name? Janice Hunter. All right, we said uh, Mary Smith under the category of missionaries. Rosa Wooten is the name that we shall lift up in Janice Smith. Yes, uh, Pastor Virginia Arsenal. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let us sing, I'm going to put on my robe and tell the story, and then the ministers will come forward. Let us sing it together. I'm going to put on my robe. Uh, I'm going to put on my robe. Tell the story how I made it over. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. I'm going to put on my Reverend Dr. Antonio Jones, mm -hmm. Reverend John Corbin, Reverend Rufus Fouget. Amen. Soon as I get home. Soon as I get home. more time. Mm -hmm. By the authority vested in me by the Christian Methodist Episcopal Church, I now transfer these persons from the church militant to the church triumphant. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. To God be the glory for the great things he has done. Amen. As we stand, I'll ask that the Reverend Ramon Strippen will lead us. The great hymn of the church written by Bishop Lucius Hosey, O Rapturous Saints. Rapture sings, oh rapture sings that awaits the day when thou shalt call me home. When I shall hear, when I shall hear, no longer stay. Has my heart long has my heart look up to thee my master no other hand
Wondrous grace is this that brings my waiting soul to thee. Hallelujah. That makes me scorn. That makes me scorn all earthly things that I Gracious Lord, where I am now, am I thy servant still? Shall flesh and blood But my soul shall rise and fly to that bright world above. The heavenly Canaan the city of thy love. Eternal life is gained. My happiness has just begun. Happiness has just begun. The crown of life. be seated. Amen. Lunch will be served immediately after this and we will return on schedule. On time we're only about uh, 16 minutes off. Uh, so please make sure you go next door and patronize the caterers. Prepare lunch for you uh, at this time and we'll begin back at what time? Amen. Two two o'clock. Amen. We'll begin back at that time. Let us bow our heads. Now may his peace be with you until we meet again. Now may his love and grace go with you until we meet again. Let us all say amen. Amen.